was um, definitely inspired from God. Uh, I was not planning on doing a song or a video as of five months ago. It was the last thing on my mind. Lately having my focus be more about my health and my son um, and just going through all the medical things and other things in my life right now, I just started getting a flood of lyrics and verses and words in my head and I started writing them down in my notepad on my phone. Um, they just came so strongly and so profound that I just knew I had to write them down. It was about a week into it and I had almost a full song written and I thought, wow, this is amazing, these are really powerful words. And I knew, I just, I knew it was a song. Um, as a writer I write books and screenplays, but writing the song was, was not what I was planning on doing. And so knowing that it was a song, um, I just wasn't exactly sure why, I, why God gave me this song and what I was supposed to do with it. It was about a day later after I had finished uh, writing the song that I got a call from a friend I had met a few months prior through another friend who's a director. He did her music video for her. Her and her family, they're Christian as well. She called and we talked and I said, hey, I just kind of got this song that came out of nowhere and the lyrics are amazing. Um, would you maybe take a look at it and see if you could put some music to it? Uh, her name's Audrey Montoya, and so I went and met with her and I showed her the lyrics, and she just simply asked me what kind of uh, sound do I hear for it, and, or what kind of beat. Um, I didn't really know how to explain it other than kind of poppy, kind of not, kind of rock, kind of not rock, kind of pretty, but not too pretty. Um, churchy but not too churchy and I just uh, I know that I like acoustic guitar and I love piano so that's what I left her with and I didn't know if she would really get to it or what she would be able to come up with but a day later she called me up or maybe two days later and she said that she had laid the track down and that just blew my mind uh, I went and listened to it it was a million times more than I could have ever expected and I was just blown away it was absolutely beautiful I don't know how she came up with that out of what I explained to her, but um, but it was just it was awesome. So from there we started recording, and um, she is incredibly talented. She plays the piano, she plays guitar, uh, plays the drums, she sings, she comes up with melodies, and she walked me through the entire process. And it was like three or four recording sessions later, and we were done. We sent it to her friend who mixed it, and within about maybe a month, a month, a month and a half. I had the fully recorded version of Fallen. It was just, it was amazing. It was so much more than I than I expected. And, and I knew I needed to do something with it and God was really pressing it on my heart, but I didn't know what. And then like a day later, my friend Sarah Courtney calls me and she's like, hey girl, so I've been doing documentaries and filming music videos and I really wanna um, get into this. And uh, I kind of want to start doing something for my reel and I was like oh well that's perfect because I just recorded a song and no one knows me as a singer and so she was like oh my gosh okay and she didn't really know what to expect and um, I let her listen to the song and she was also well, what she told me was blown away and thought that it was way more than she had thought that would come from me and so she got really excited about um, doing a video with me and so her and I set out for three days and we went to the mountains and we went to the beach and we went to the desert, which is all um, symbolic for the Bible representing um, the desert being a time of trial. Uh, we used the color black and we used chains and the mountains and the snow representing a time of um, meeting with God and being uh, cleansed and purified. And so for three days we dealt with wind and driving and um, crazy conditions and she went and jumped in a dumpster and got broken glass and we got balloons and um, we just had this amazing time and the video, um, you know, we had all this footage and so at that point I was like, okay, well, now we've got all this footage but now I need an editor. I don't have the money or the budget to pay somebody that um, could do what we needed done and I said at that point, I'm like, well, God's kind of lined up everything else so I'm sure he's going to bring me an editor and it was about a week later that I got Tony. He came on board and he was willing to work within um, my deadlines and with my no budget and he did an amazing job. He understood the message, he understood the story, he just pulled the whole thing together and the, the completion of it, I just, I don't think anyone could have done a better job um, than he did and I'm just really, really happy with it. 
Uh, the story of Fallen is basically about letting go, uh, surrendering our past, our mistakes, the past characters that we have have been in our lives, and just believing and, and trusting in God and um, accepting His His gift of being ultimately forgiven and having that chance to become a brand new person and being a better version of ourselves, which is what the bridge is and my favorite part of the song, um, that I'm a, I'm a better version of me. If that's the message that this song can give to everyone, that they have that gift and they just need to accept it, then I'm happy.